Hi guys, and welcome to Wade's Workshop. I'm going to do a little series, maybe once a week, once a fortnight, something like that, just a general chit-chat, and I'm going to call it, uh, not shop talk, let's call it shed talk, because as you can see, I'm in a shed. I'm five foot seven, and I've got two inches in the middle of the shed above my head, and I can walk around, just missing the beams, as long as I don't walk around on that side, but I'm mostly shelving down there and what have you. Maybe one day we'll do a little uh, shop tour when I've got a good clean up and uh, I'm not too embarrassed by it. So, a few little things been going on. Uh, quick change tool post, as you can see, or you've probably seen by now, episode 13 is up. Pretty much finishes it off. I made up a sacrificial tool holder. That tool holder, I was thinking of making a DTI holder, something like that, but it's actually, I made it out of what I had lying about, an inch square stock. It's given me at least the dimension for milling further tool holders, that sort of thing, in the back, so that I've got the dovetail size and I can measure and repeat it. I've ordered some larger section steel to do the job for the uh, tool holders, so I'm awaiting that this week. On that note, I've ordered quite a few bits and bobs, uh, probably seven or eight parcels that are due to come in this week. Maybe we'll do a bit of a show and tell when I've got all the new bits and pieces in. The little turning jobs that you saw me do in my turning on a mandrel, I've got an order for 50 of those to make, so I've had to order a load of aluminium bar to do the job, two inch aluminium bar. It actually worked out, I shop around for this sort of stuff, and I've bought three metres of two inch aluminium bar, and I think with delivery it's about 85, 90 pounds, something like that with delivery and fat. Anyway, my evolution chop saw will come into use for cutting those uh, two inch slugs up and just to go on to the evolution chop saw it's died to death i haven't had it very long uh but cutting this two inch aluminium and i've cut three inch with it as well i've stalled the blade a few times it started to arc on the brushes i cleaned them up it got worse and worse and worse the brushes have worn down very badly i'll give you a shot of the arcing going on in the back i'll just start it up quick but I've ordered a new set of brushes for that. Uh, let's get give you a shot of the arcing. <laughs> Well, as you can see, that was pretty horrendous. Uh, I have cleaned up the commutator on the motor on it and, you know, just cleaned up the end of the brushes and it's still arcing like mad. I'm not an uh, expert on electric motors. Uh, generators used to be my thing, but uh, electric motors not quite so uh, what's it with i'm hoping a new set of brushes there's a bit more compression in them because they're going to be longer you know they're pushing harder against the commutator it may it may be all right it may live again if not i'm going to have to get a new one i bought the chop saw for two reasons i intend on building a great big decking on the back of my house when the weather breaks this summer and um, it would be the ideal thing for cutting deck timbers, that sort of thing. And it doubles up because it will cut aluminium, steel, plastic, all sorts of stuff. It doubled up for use in the workshop as well. So that's why I picked that one up. Maybe I should have gone for a, you know, more upmarket one. But I think the whole thing was £99. So, yeah, OK. If I got to buy another one, I got to buy another one. You know, say lovey. Anyway, you can see I've got a couple of pieces of timber here. I'm going to build myself a bit of a workstation uh, in this area here something that will sort of fold up from the wall i can fold back down that's that's in the plan we might give you a bit of a shot of that as i do it it's not that interesting as far as workshop stuff goes but that's a, another thing i've ordered as you saw from my last milling adventure uh, some milling cutters now hmm maybe buy once would be the thing but i've gone to or looked up this company called banggood and i know it's all chinese stuff but a few people that have done reviews on bits and pieces of them, of, you know, it is what it is. It's cheap as chips. So if it's dirt cheap, let's give it a try. I think it was, you know, it was less than 20 quid for a set of six or seven um, full flute end mills. So let's see. So they'll be arriving this week. So I've got new brushes. I've got a load of material. got the material for the tool holders. Bits and pieces, I've ordered some cutting discs for cutting up the uh, save on the hacksaw work. Some one mil cutting discs for my grinder. Um, what else? Yeah, I've decided with that sacrificial tool holder to make a push tool. Basically, it's going to have a bearing on one end, bearing on the other end, so that it can chew up uh, parts that I put in a three or four jaw chuck, or three jaw mostly. If you get like thin disc shaped parts, you can push towards the face. 
I'll make that up. I'll do a bit of video of that. It, we might call it, um, you know, uh, end episode, a quick change tool post. We'll see. Um, show the footage of me making that. So that's probably the next little project, making the push tool. I ordered a pair of bearings. They're coming in this week. Uh, I think they're 28 diameter, 12 mil ball, something like that. Nice chunky bearings. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have that to come. Pretty much that's it as far as uh, this shop talk. I sort of, I am new to YouTube, as you all know, probably six weeks in now, something like that. I noticed on other channels that they have like a trailer uh, on the beginning, you know, on the homepage, so to speak. So I may knock up a trailer, something like that, to go on the, uh, on the channel. A couple of excerpts, you know, film clips, bits and pieces of what has happened so far. A little bit of intro, that sort of thing. Try and make it exciting. Where are we today? We're Sunday, Mother's Day, uh, 10th of March, something like that. And I've broken the 100 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, guys. 105, I think, this morning. And about 7,800 views in total. So I suppose my next mark would be 10,000 views. And, you know, that, that would be, what, another 2,200 views, something like that. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks... You know, we might be able to get to 10,000 views. You may have noticed that the quality of filming has improved somewhat. I used to be this dark figure in the shadows, so to speak. I, I used to use like a DSLR camera and for close-ups used an iPhone. Uh, this new camera I've got, Panasonic camera. I'll give you a few shots of it. I'll show you the two cameras, show you where I am, am now, this new camera that I bought. A couple of shots of those and I'll have a talk about that. Um, I'm no photographer, I'm no cinematographer. But this camera, I like to buy the idiot proof with all the, uh, you know, automatic features on them. So it does everything for you. Because as I say, I'm no no expert on it, but I'm, I'm getting there. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm in the light here. I've got this window, which is across the lathe, which used to just throw glare on the old camera, that sort of thing. So the new camera copes with all of that with no problems whatsoever. So we'll have a quick look at those as well. So this is the camera that I've been using up till now. Uh, it's a Sony DSC H400. It's a great camera, but it's not so good on video. You know, it, uh, you, you've seen the problems I've had, focus jumping in and out and all the rest. It's got like autofocus, intelligent features, lots and lots of features that are specifically for, for uh, photography as opposed to filming. I played with it. I toyed with it. I've done all sorts. I messed about with the light in the uh, in the workshop. Never really had great results. So that's what I was using. Um, I've only had it for six months or so. Uh, it's great for photography. Love taking photographs with it. But videos, another story. So I'll show you the new camera. So this is the new toy, Panasonic. What is it? HCV three hundred and eighty camera. It's got Wi-Fi built in, all that sort of stuff. I can rig it up so that I can, you know, push record and play direct from my iPhone, that sort of thing. I haven't fiddled with that too much at the moment. But that's the new camera, and as I said earlier, it's been just brilliant. Straight out of the box, no problems at all so far. Okay, cheers, thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe.